My name is Mars Sidere. I'm the director for FNS, another program, but FNS. And I'm from Jamaica. I have been here, what, 25 years now. I graduated here. I have been at this agency 21 years. So I worked at another, two other agencies, but I worked in with adolescent children who were HIV positive. So that's really what started my whole doing um, this type of work. Went to another agency. I worked for about a year and then I came to the Alliance Singer. I do. I like New York, opportunities, your diversity, transportation, and the food. To be a New Yorker is, means for me, you can move around independently. So New York was the first time I, I took a subway and I found my way around. And once I get on a train, I can find my way anywhere. I decided I wanted other opportunities. So I had my first interview and it was our CEO, Brenda, who interviewed us. So it was Brenda who encouraged me and said, okay, I'm going to push you where you're going to learn more and you'll get more pay for that job. And I said, what? It was really the reception I got from the people who works here and they still work. And the things they taught me that really gravitate me to want to do this more. And they, again, they encouraged me to go back to school. And so whatever my success is, I can say it's because of the people who I worked with here. I started out as what, a community follow-up worker. So I was doing more outreach and, um, you know, meeting people, accompany clients to the doctor. I have gotten several promotions based on the work that I have done. We have, I would say every service, you can think of what any clients would want. So they also like the fact that they can come here and get everything under one breath. They just want somebody who will care for them and listen to them and understand their needs and support. That's all I know to help people yeah. the right way. When you have people who really care about people and you're not here just for a paycheck. So you want to hear them and see how you can better their lives. And then the good thing with it here, we talk to each other. So we know we can support them by the communication we have with, with staff in here. The service that you provide, that means a lot to me. Like what you do for these people. What it means for them when you could give somebody some food. Because they're in New York here, there's a lot of food insecurity. And with food stamps, it's not enough. They just come because there are so many people out there and not able to have food. And we find ways to give the food help to make sure that somebody has a meal or somebody not going to bed without having a meal. I can cook Jamaican food. Some people might not really like Jamaican because they say it's spicy. But there are a lot of clients here who keep asking me, are we getting some Jamaican food? So people will more look forward to it and not have to see people all the time. But they do ask me all the time. So they, they like the mix-up. The Alliance has been around since 1991. We are a multi-service agency. We have served all the population with people with substance use, HIV, people with chronic illness. And of course, food insecurity. We have five community um, centers in Manhattan. And we also have a housing facility in Pelham, in the Bronx. I manage with FNS four program, but they all work hand in hand. I supervise um, 
two things for insurance of people through the marketplace. Also manage people who would not be eligible for marketplace health insurance. I also manage um, program CHI Correction Health Initiative. Those are people who've been incarcerated for a long time, coming out of the facility. We have pretty much population from everywhere. But the good thing, we also have staff here that speaks different languages. That diversity really helps to manage the services we provide here at the Alliance. We have clients who bring in their friends because of how this, they get treated here, the services we provide. This, they know coming here, like a meal is usually what brings people together. And when they come here and they see how they're treated, they, they're inclined to um, enroll in other services. Because the food is delicious. The fact that, you know, giving us all this food and we can able to change our clients' lives in a positive way, what better way we can thank great for partnering us with us. Because food, again, in this new, new York is very expensive. But when we have rating and can offer food for free, you're not doing only for the food, but for the clients who really, really enjoy this delicious meal that's offered to them. Food is really the first thing that people want. Food. If it's good food, they keep coming. And that's what Rethings provide us. Well, what change is that we're getting more food? So that's what change, and that's change in a positive way. Because before, the meals would run out and they come back. Do you have any more? There's none. But now we do, we can give them to go instead of not having to offer. We have a variety of services here. And we would really want more people to know about it so we can offer more service, including the pantry, the case management, the different programs. Because Alliance have a lot to offer. Come to the Alliance, see what we have here, the impact I have on their lives. So it motivates me, it encourages me to want to do more. You have been in a situation where you go home not having nothing to eat because doing this work teaches me that. I have never had that experience, but I've known people who have had those experiences. I don't throw away food because I always think that throwing away food is bad because there are so many people. They shouldn't leave here not getting a meal or have something to go home to cook. You should always can provide something to eat. Or if they, if we don't have enough, we offer them resources where they could get a pantry bag somewhere else. I mean, rethink has been awesome. I should say <laughs> we 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 um we're really really appreciative of the meals you all the best.